Hi guys. There's going to be two videos to go up today because I uh, didn't get a chance to do um, yesterday's. Um, I was going to do yesterday's early this morning but you know, plans don't always go as planned. Anyway, the giant is downstairs and being a pain in my bum at the minute because uh, the original chain was knackered. Um, basically it wasn't sitting on any of the gears correctly and it was making a horrible noise when you pedaled. Good indications that the chain was worn. So, for five ninety nine, I've gone and bought another one. Because the one I've put on there is uh, too short. To be honest, it's too short. I've got some cheap handlebar grips here for the time being as well. So I want to go and fit all of those. Lovely. It's now five thirty. Uh, I spent pretty much all of the afternoon with Mum because it's her birthday. So uh, what I want to do is go to Lidl's and Sainsbury's and grab some supplies for at least tonight. Maybe a set of Lego as well. Uh, but first I'm going to go downstairs and see if I can fit this chain on. I've also bought another chain splitting tool because my one... If I used it with a pair of vice grips or something to keep the chain flat on the tool it'll work. But for some reason the chain when you screw the pin in to push the um, chain links out or the chain pins out it pushes the chain at an angle and won't push the pin out because of it. So uh, yeah might be fixable it might I don't know. What did get a different one? So I've got this chain from Roy's for $5.99. It says for 6 and 7 speed, which is what that bike is, so... Well, the freewheel is. We'll find out. I thought I could get away with um, a longer chain as well, because I put the chain on from the Claude, but that's a bit too short. So I was either going to lengthen the chain or um, try this new one. I think I will just go in the cupboard and find my pot of chain. Because if this new one's too short, then I'm not mixing new with old. I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll just have to try it. If it's longer than the original one, then it'll fit. <laughs> All the same length as the original one. <sighs> Don't know whether to do Sainsbury's first or Lidl's first. Might do Sainsbury's. What I really want in Lidl's is. Um, Cola, because I'm out. Oh, I suppose before I go, I might as well show you the hoard. Well, it's not much of a hoard this time, but there hasn't been a lot in the shops. I have bought a double CD. I don't know, I just like... Um, Compilation discs like this for some reason. Ridge Racer 5 for the PS2. And that's not the only PS2 game I got today either. That one was £1.50. Uh, I've got a bag of shit here. <laughs> From my favourite junk shop. Spent £2 in the junk shop and I got one I can get in there. Another one! <laughs> the packaging has definitely seen better days, but lamp is still good. Unique housewares, light safety warning. It's 
some jinglish right there. It's got a code. Exclusively distributed by H. Something Dunstable and a postcode. But, yeah. <laughs> There's literally nothing there. There's no instructions, no nothing. Shitty packaging. I saw a set of those on eBay for nine ninety nine. I thought, yeah, right. Am I fuck? Am I paying that for a pair of them? Um, the other interesting um, device is this. Can I get a bit more light on that? I'll lay it on here and we'll have a look at that in just a second. Um, that one's only got the one disc in, I think. Oh no, that one has got both discs in. Hits 57. Worms Armageddon for the PS1. And I've got, I think they're all PS2 games. Medal of Honor, Rising Sun. I have checked, the discs are in these. Um, Star Wars, Starfire. These were all from the um, junk shop, by the way. Oni. And, because this disc is in better condition than my other one, Final Fantasy X. I'm going to have to have to play that one. So I've got a bunch of games and a couple of CDs. Right. I'm going to put you over in the normal place over here. Whoops, sorry. It's dropped on the floor. Table, rather, not floor. I'm going to move these. Are my crap handlebar grips. As far as I know, the gears are actually shifting up and down fine, apart from the front. They still need a bit of adjustment. Right. There is shed loads of wire on this, but um, all will become clear. And there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight switches. So, um, what the hell have I bought here? It's got so many switches on it. It's actually tempting to come along and just snip the bloody wires off. Because there is some shit. Shit wiring on this anyway, I'm surprised at work. Uh, well, Mr. Wankstein, I mean my stepdad, he's been a bit of a Wankstein at the minute, um, would know exactly what this is if I showed it to him. I'm just uh, pulling the wires off. Or unraveling the wires, I should say, so we can actually see. If I had some snippety snips handy, I would have snipped them. <laughs> At this precise moment, I haven't. more unwrap unwinds there we go so that's what we got so you're probably thinking what the fucking hell is it it's a um, switchboard for a model railway for um, electric points all those wires would go to various electric points and that would be what this would control So you've got numbers up the top here, on the card, above the switches. And, uh, oh, this may not actually be points, this might be track to liven up track, maybe. But the numbers of the switches will correspond with the numbers on this card here. So we've got one, two, three, four. F four is labelled twice for some reason. 
unless one is meant to be seven, but four is drawn on there twice. Right, now you see number eight, and there's an M. I don't know what the M's for, but I only bought it for the fairly decent looking switches, to be honest. With a little LED indicator in them. Two with a red one, two at this end have got red LED and the rest are all green. So, yeah. I will, so I've soldered the wires on, but I will snip the wires off. And, uh, oh, one of the switches hasn't got wires on it. Number seven hasn't, aha. So maybe number seven wasn't in use, hence why it's not numbered on the board. Yeah, I just want the switches. Some of the wires are soldered, some are actually just plugged on. And they've got this little screw collar thing on the back to hold them in place. Okay, the cat is licking salad cream off one of my plates. So Nemo and I like salad cream. Come on, bastard, unscrew. There we go. So that's what I, that's what I wanted this for. Those. Quite a nice little switch. So, uh, I'm not going to take them all off now. I'm just going to pull the wires off. I'm guessing he ran out of um, spade crimps, which is why some of them um, soldered on. I would have soldered them on anyway. So either they dismantled the model railway or they built a new one of these. They may have built a new one. That's what they may have done. Right, we'll sort that later, I think. They've got some more wire for my wire pot, haven't I? Right, oh, sorry, Nemo, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, that's because it bounced. Whoopsie, I didn't mean to do that. Right. I'm going to shut the camera off for the time being. I'm going to go go to Sainsbury's, get some supplies, go to Lidl's and get some more supplies from there and then come, uh, come back here. In fact, first thing I'm going to do is fit these um, handlebar grips. Believe it or not, they're the only ones I could get in town. Just these shitty foam ones. But uh, that'll do until I can get hold of some decent ones. They're only $1.99, so if I want to, I can get another set for the Claude up here. But uh, one of these bikes is going to have to have a lengthened chain on it, because the one I put on the Claude, I realised, isn't going to be long enough. And I think I might have to put this switch up, because I've got one of these habits of doing that to a switch. And eventually, I actually pissed myself off with the clicking. Anyway, I'll talk to you all in a little while. Don't know when, but I'm getting hungry, so it won't be, <laughs> probably be another couple of hours or so. Oh, that reminds me, just before it goes, a friend of mine messaged me he wants a new freewheel fitted to his bike, but uh, too late now, because I was with Mum for too long, so um, I'll have to see if he wants to pop up tomorrow lunchtime-ish or something for that. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a little while. Just tried pressing record with the camera turned off. Doesn't quite work. Anyway, yes, I got the top off. I'm hot. Well, now I'm actually getting cool, but because I've been out on the bike, I'd got hot. Um. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, chain is fitted to the giant. Rides like a brand new bike, so it's well worth the six pounds. As long as the chain doesn't snap. Because <laughs> it is a cheap chain. Feels just like any other ordinary bike chain, though, so. <clears throat> but yeah, 
it was sort of like four or five links longer than the chain that was on this clawed up here so when Roy's gets some more in because I actually had the last one I'll get another one for this clawed I could piss around lengthening the one but that means you know chopping two chains together and that doesn't always work and you know you're gonna have parts of the chain more worn out than the others so you can chop chains together if you want to get yourself out of a pickle but uh, I wouldn't recommend it and for the sake of six pounds I might as well just go and buy a brand new one for this one as well and I've got to get some better handlebar grips I don't like those foam ones they just don't they don't feel right to me <clears throat> um, but yeah the gears are shifting I had to make one slight adjustment to the um, rear gears um, but the chain actually sits perfectly on all the sprockets now and the cogs or whatever you want to call them <coughs> unlike the old chain that wouldn't sit on them and it's making all sorts of grindy crunchy noises it was just blatantly obvious to me that the chain had gone and buying a new chain has uh, fixed a problem so that pretty much confirmed the chain is knackered it's just worn out that's all I'm guessing the previous owner um, must have used the bike quite a lot to wear something out like that. But, uh, yeah, and I forgot I had, hadn't had um, cranked the nuts that hold the crank on down tight enough so I had to do that as well. I could feel a slight wobble when I rode but only when I was riding the bike. And uh, yeah, so... <laughs> A good idea to make sure you do bolt everything up good and tight so yeah it's actually riding like a new bike like I've just gone and bought it out of the showroom I'm very impressed with that and pleased with it <clears throat> um, I'm gonna bring it back up here later because uh, well I don't know I might might be able to squeeze it into the shed it's a big might though I was in Lidl's, or while I was in Lidl's I should say. I bought me one of these. I've also got a couple of Lego sets because one was reduced to clear and one's reduced so. Um, and what I've got, and I get hold of it, it's one of these. I'm just trying to get the reflection away from the packaging because you can see the window reflection. It's basically an adapter that allows you to convert a plug socket into a plug and two USB sockets. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how reliable this is. I've just realised I put the <laughs> it's upside down. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, but I thought nowadays, as we do use USB ports, and I don't like to clog mine up on the PC, especially as I've only got two at the front, um, that maybe that would come in useful. I could probably plug it up here, actually. USB socket adapter for charging mobile phones, tablets, MP3, MP4 players, ebook readers etc. Two USB charging sockets in addition to standard socket use. USB ports with 2.1 amp total output. Well, that's not bad for a USB port actually. The ones on a PC are only 1 amp. Usually, I don't know if the USB 3's um, output a little bit more but from what I can remember USB 2 can only manage one amp. Uh, do not operate while covered. Covered with what? <laughs> there's no even. There's not even any vent holes to worry about. So uh, do not connect 
in a chain. Oh, where's the fun in that? IP20 dash only use in dry areas. Only use these USB ports for IT devices. Well, basically low powered devices. This camera should be fine. I can't imagine that actually drawing, you know, more than 2.1 amps. <laughs> so yeah, just it was 399 out of Lidl. Um I'm not that familiar with Silvercrest though. I've had a lot of Crivet tools and stuff, but this is a new one. And there was only two left, so I thought I'd grab one. I did them in um, some various colours as well. And why the hell is the brass pins all glittery? <laughs> Does it actually say where this is made? It'll be a daft question though, but. <laughs> Intertech Deutschland. I'm not going to try and pronounce the other two words beside it. Ooh. Three year warranty. I'm going to keep the receipt then because if it does bugger up within three years, you know, I can go back to Lidl and say, oi, either replace it or bloody find me and, you know, um, refund my money. It's got an address on there in Germany. So Silvercrest obviously make products for Lidl specifically. Um, well, I've not heard any complaints. And visual inspection, it does look pretty damn good. The um, plug pins are compliant. Which you'd expect from a main chain, um, supermarket chain. A lot of symbols. <laughs> <clears throat> Do not throw in the bin, recycle. <laughs> Don't you want. Oh, it even tells you how to open the packet with a pair of scissors. I'm not using scissors, I'm using a knife. Not having that tell me what to do. Yeah. And I couldn't resist as these are limited anyway. Got some more stickies. <laughs> Should we have a. <coughs> Excuse me. Should we uh, open those? Oh, bloody hell. I wasn't expecting that to pop like that. That's a different one. They seem to like the green colour. Should we do it again, see if we can get another big bang? Might be unlucky this time, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, shh. Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore, because that just um, hurt my ears. But as you can see from that one, look, they're actually rather full of air. Hey, red and white one. If I end up with four different ones again, it's going to be a miracle, I think. Yeah. That one's a bit flexible, he doesn't like to stick. I think banging another one, Jesus, I hurt my ass, he's just fell over. I think they had the, um, Lidl is the official England football team sponsor this year, if I remember correctly. It's probably why they're doing a um, football thing. There's another green one. I like the green. Me. One more. Always buy them in fours. I don't like odd numbers. We'll friggin' open. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, let's get one. Where is he? He's right at the bottom. He's right. Ooh! Well, I wasn't expecting that one. We have a, <laughs> a gold cup. 
chuck out on the floor for later. So, yeah, I do believe I may have like five green ones. I have got five green ones, but they are all different. Well, I don't actually know what I've got at Mum's yet. I still haven't seen them. <laughs> are they all different? Are all the green ones actually different? Yes, they are. <laughs> no, they're not. I do have a duplicate. I've got one duplicate pair. Oh, well. Do I want to swap him? <laughs> Here we go. Right. I'm just been arranging with a friend for him to come over tomorrow and I can do his free wheel for him. He's not sure what one to buy, so I think he wants me to walk down to Wilco's with him and make sure we get the correct one. Close up my arm. If I could find where I put my knife or even a pair of scissors, I could never find either. I've got like four pairs of scissors. And I don't know how many um, box cutters and slander knives. Let me find one when I want one. Oh. Now, I don't know what my plans are for tomorrow yet. I'll pr actually, I'll probably um, um, do some work on the Rally Max. I'll get those parts changed. Now that I've got plenty of uh, cable ends, anyway. I'm just looking for something sharp. <laughs> I've got a big pair of scissors somewhere. And I've lost them. Again. Oh yeah, I found my other pair of sharp wire cutters as well. I do need to get myself some more though. Hopefully, those ones will last until Lidl get their stock in again, seeing as they uh, rotate stock. It's a fucking bright orange thing, oh I don't know what. I'll come back later when I've found it and we can have a look at that in a little while. I was, can't help thinking that I'm forgetting something. I'll think of it when I, once I've switched the camera off anyway. Talk to you all later. Right. I've been a bit of a busy chappy. As you can see, got all those switches um, pulled out of that board so the board can go in the bin. It's the only reason I bought it, just for the switches. I've got the USB plug thing plugged in up there and it's working. External power supply works so haven't tested the USB ports on it yet on the count of the only device I've got that I can see if it's actually charging anything is the camera <laughs> so that's gonna have to wait um, the only other thing I've been doing is uh, playing with Claude number two it is now mechanically done Unless when I take it for a ride tomorrow, I find anything that needs adjusting, it's done. All the gears are connected and functioning as far as I can tell. At least they're functioning up here. Brakes are functioning. Tires are holding air. And uh, I don't have to buy a chain because I found two in there that were pretty much an identical match, albeit I think different brands. So I just spliced the two together, fed them on the bike, got one, you know, both parts of the chain and measured where I needed to um, take a chunk of chain off. Took the chunk of chain off, chunk of chain, try saying that when you've had a few drinks, chunk of chain. Took the chunk of chain off I didn't need and uh, connected both ends and voila. It's a bloody good chain as well. I'm glad I kept both halves now because uh, it's gone in there quite well. 
front row is a bit stiff because I painted the bloody hinges. Dumbass. <laughs> I can hear my cat snoring. Noisy bastard. The only thing I'm going to do is go to Roy's tomorrow and get another 199 pair of um, foam handlebar grips for this one. Because uh, nowhere in town is selling anything decent for 199 they They'll do as a temporary measure. That's what I've put on the um, Giant. I don't like how they feel, but it's better than um, holding metal bar. Especially in winter. <laughs> so yeah, this is all done. The wheel bearings in the back wheel are just... A Literally a smidge loose. Not so much that you would notice it unless you grabbed the wheel and wobbled it, but... And they're not important that they get done right this minute. But uh, I will um, just give them a slight tighten when I get a chance. I might do that tomorrow. Because I've got a friend coming over tomorrow at about 1.30. He wants me just to um, have a look at his second bike. Because he's got two. Um... Because he does a lot of bike riding. A hell of a lot of bike riding. So, um... He wears out bottom brackets like they're going out of fashion as well. Because <laughs> um, he's already fucked the one that's already on... That's on the bike I think he's bringing to me tomorrow. I think it's the one, anyway. <laughs> he's got a rally and another... I can't remember. He got them both off of me, anyway, so... Um, he said something about he wants the free wheel replaced on it. Now, I've got free wheels. But, considering he does a hell of a lot of miles on his bike, he probably would be better off going down to Wilco's and buying a brand new one. Because, uh, quite frankly, mine are all used... So they've all got various stages of wear on them, so they may not last as long, well they won't last as long, as um, a brand new one would. And they're not too expensive, so if he wants, I'll give him the option, I could throw on one of my ones. That'll save him some cash, because I won't charge him. <laughs> I don't charge my friends and my family for anything like that. Besides, the amount of bikes I get from the dump, you know, I can fucking get them so easily. What chain is that? I don't know, but it can go in that box. <laughs> right. I've got some Lego to build, but I've got nowhere to uh, build. Not even enough room on that desk, so... I don't know, I might clear some floor space in the bedroom and sit in there and build them. Or build them on the bed, one or the other. I'm well, not first. <sighs> the other thing I've got to do is find my antidepressants. I'm sure I've got some left. Actually, in fact, my bloody um, repeat prescription form has disappeared as well. I put it up there, but it's disappeared. In fact, I'd laid it on there because I wanted it, and it's not there now. So, <laughs> I think I may end up eating this fruit scone that's in there because I forgot to give it to Mum. And if she does ring later, I'll ask her if she wants me to grab her a couple tomorrow. I'll grab her a couple. But, uh, I do like my fruit scones. Not too much though, because they are quite sweet. So I can't have too many of them, not in one go. Oh look, there's my phone. Yeah. Now the really daft thing is with um, the system in Britain, I can't have broadband without having a landline. You've got to have a landline. I don't know why though, because if you fail to pay your bill, they cut you off. You know, they could press a computer 
that will um, shut off your internet. That's usually the first thing they'll shut down, is your internet access. So if they can do that, I don't see why they've got to, you've got to have the phone line as well. But over here you've got to have it as a package deal. Yeah. But uh, yeah, um, I found 20p on the floor, I must have filled out my pocket when I was lying on the floor doing this. Yeah, uh, Mum found out that the reason her phone bill has been so high is because she thought she was on unlimited anytime calls. Um, not just the free weekend calls. She wasn't. So, as the phone's in my brother's name, he phoned up British Telecom yesterday and uh, got that changed. No, it's going to cost him about £7.50 extra a month, yeah, just for that add-on. It's a lot of money just for an add-on. But, considering the number of calls Mum does make to landlines and whatnot, that's going to help her out and actually be cheaper. For me, because I did have the um, unlimited anytime call package, um, not package, add-on, um, it was actually costing me more to have that had on than it was in phone calls. Um, put it this way, since I had that add-on removed, my phone bill has dropped down to £45 from £62 something a month. Um, and that £5 of that bill is actually phone calls. So it's dropped down to 40 <laughs> So, yeah. You know, £7.50 a month, or on average, two to five pounds in phone calls a month. It's cheaper for me to pay the bloody phone calls. <laughs> I barely use the landline, you know. It's, it's really pointless me having it, because I really barely ever call, um, use it. I might call mum, that's about the only one number I ever dial. I deliberately don't dial mobile phone numbers from it because that's expensive. <clears throat> it actually gets stupidly expensive, that does. Um, and I also stopped using the 1471 thing because you can dial 1471 and it will, um, this automatic voice will tell you the phone number that called you last and what time then it gives you the number or then it says to return the call press 3 it charges you 20 odd pence just for that service if you press 3 if you don't press 3 it's fine but uh, I suppose it's like a it's ridiculous because you don't get charged a fee to connect a call if you dial a fucking number yourself do you? you just get charged for the duration you're on the phone but no, not with this. I'd probably call it a connection fee or something for using the service. So I stopped doing that deliberately as well. Right. I'm not sure what I'm going to have planned tomorrow, apart from doing my friend's bike. Uh... Well, I've got to go. I'll go to Roy's before he turns up and get these, um... What not I taste metal in my mouth? That. Yeah, anyway, I'll go to Roy's first and get another pair of these cheap foam handlebar grips. Uh... And get that test ridden. Make sure it's all tuned up. Get some lights. We'll take the lights down with me and get those put on... Mr. Giant and the reflectors. If I can find some reflectors, got to find some reflectors for this one as well. No, I could sell them. It's probably about 80 quid's worth of bike between the two. That's quite a nice chunk of money, but I'm not selling them. Don't wanna. Mm. Actually, considering I've re well. This one I've built from scratch, because, uh, well, you know, it was just a frame when it was given to me. Um, a frame with a crank on it. <laughs> and
and a rear derailleur. That's all that was there. There was no brakes, no forks, no wheels, no seat, no seat posts, no handlebars, no stem. So yeah, I've put a lot of uh, work into this one. I'll put even more work into the um, giant because I've re-greased a lot of the bearings on that. Apart from the back wheel because they didn't need it. That was spinning perfectly as it was. So, as the old sign goes, don't fix what ain't broken. Um, but the headset bearings, they were dry and making noises and so was the front wheel. That's why I re-greased those. But as I said, well, and the bottom bracket bearings, because, well, they disintegrated when I took it apart. Literally disintegrated into nothing. <clears throat> yeah. I'm a... I'm a happy chappy, I think. I've got a video uploading that might be... In about another 15 minutes, this was meant to go up this morning, but uh, because of the busy day I had, I didn't get a chance, so it's only going up now. And uh, I'll probably... Oh, it's processing now. I'm just going to throw some tags on and that'll be it. Yeah, I'll get this video up as well, so I'll be two for the price of one tonight. Um, but aside from doing bikes tomorrow, I've not got a clue what I'm going to be doing. Before I go, I might as well show you what I've got. I've got another superhero set, just because it's on offer. Uh, £15, £5 off. Should have been 20 quid. <laughs> 20 quid for that. But, if that was Lego C, that would be about seventeen ninety nine. But the reason that costs the extra f couple of pounds or so is because it's licensed by Marvel, which means Lego has to give Marvel a percentage of every set they sell. Um, which is why sets like this... You know, the superhero sets or the Star Wars sets, even the Minecraft sets are going to cost more than the themes Lego make themselves. Like Lego Friends, Lego Duplo, Lego C, um, the Nexo Knights, Ninjago, etc. Mixels, I think. I'm not sure about Mixels. Yeah, that's one. And I got another one, and I only got this one, because that was reduced from £17.99 to £12. I'm not really into space, but... And this is a set from last year, actually. And as... Hang on a minute. Friggin' light is making my camera go dark. But as um, the summer um, summer 2016 sets are now coming out, Sainsbury's is clearing some old stock like this, so this was reduced to clear. Um, there's actually a couple of other sets there as well I might get tomorrow. Might get tomorrow. But I think for now, so it's exactly the same size box, look. Exactly the same size. That was seventeen ninety nine. That would have been twenty pounds when they were at full price. Uh, yeah, I suppose that's what comes with um, when you license out sets like that. Yeah, they are li um, Lego is licensed by Marvel or whatever it is to produce the sets so uh, and the same with DC Comics and Star Wars so a percentage of all sales have to go to them which is fair enough I don't mind paying an extra couple of pounds for that but yeah I got that 
shuttle for um well if I had the money I might have gone back and got the rest because if it's discontinued I could actually sell them for a profit oddly enough do I wish I had just a little bit more spare cash because I would do that you know go in and buy like five of the same set or something if I had room I'd actually have a bricklink shop I don't have room to set one of those up. I suppose with the superhero set you also get the added bonus of one extra minifigure as well. Most some of these uh, 1799 sets will only come with one figure. This space shuttle looks like Going by the box art, it get, comes with two. And this superhero set comes with three. But having said that, it don't look like there's that many pieces to that shell, to be honest, does it? Let me look at it. Hang on. Look at it. Don't look like there's many pieces there, do there? Then again, I've had sets like that that look like there's not many parts, but there actually is. That'll keep me busy for a little while. Nemo up here with me. Got one hell of a cold and wet nose. It's weird. He'll either sleep on the towel in the bathroom during the day, or he's been hiding underneath a carrier bag in the bedroom today. You know, or he'll sleep on a jacket or something during the day. But at night, he always sleeps at the foot of my bed. Always. Unless I've accidentally kicked him off and he's got the hump, then he'll go and sleep in the bath or something. No idea why he does that. Ooh. Ha, mighty ho then. Uh. Here we go. I'm feeling bloody knackered, but I have been on the go all day, which is not like me. Normally I'm sitting around here feeling bored. Well, I suppose I could take that kind of thing to bits or something I could do later. <laughs> if I'm feeling up to it, or I may save that for tomorrow night. Not a lot bothers the cat. Beep, 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 beep. Oh yeah, that bike light I got. Don't do that, you muppet. Oh yeah, I'm going to read that for a scone as well. Where is it? Kick his cat's ass in him. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that light, I've actually looked at the bulb. And looking at it, it's got the shape of them, um halogen torch bulbs have I won't know until I actually uh, take the bulb out and have a look but it does look like a halogen it's just one of them old generic bike lights that they made back in the day and that um, came in several different styles of packaging but were ex the exact same thing and they came in various colours as well. But, um, trust me, if this falls off your bike, there's no saving it. It will just disintegrate into pieces. That's why I wouldn't pay the 9 99 that someone was asking on eBay. Sit on that and spin. Definitely not worth it. The most I've ever paid for one of them lights is like £2. I think I've got six now 
four rear and two front, and one of those I picked up at a car boot sale actually for something daft like 50p. That's a white plastic one. I know they did white, I know they did black. They did like a luminous green colour as well. But like I said, they came in various packs with various names on them. They're all the same bloody shit. But I actually found that usually the lights survived. These flimsy little brackets didn't. Because, look at that, that's pretty flimsy. You go over, well, not necessarily over a bump, but if you accidentally catch that in the shed, which I have actually done before when I had some of these, you're just going to snap it. It's really, the bracket is just cheap shit plastic. The cheapest plastic you can imagine, same as the light actually. You can feel the difference. This one's more feel... Um, I'll try again. This feels a bit more brittle. You know, like if you actually stamped on it, it would just shatter into a thousand pieces. But, in their defence, the only thing good about them, when you put a good pair of batteries in, they are bloody bright. I smack myself in the head with it, but... I'd do more damage to that than I would myself. <laughs> but I don't know why. I like the look of them as well. Which is probably why I keep buying them. <laughs> Every time I see them, I keep buying them. Which actually is good to show they do last if you look after them, but... It's just... I don't know, it's just something about the design of these I like. And again, anyone that's watched my videos know that I love lights. I've got an obsession with lights. Or a fetish, as my friend says. I've got a fetish for lights. <laughs> and I can't remember if I said in yesterday's video or not, but he has become a daddy. Actually became a daddy few days ago now. Yep, his girlfriend has giveth a birth to a baby girl. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to shut the camera on. Can you shut the camera on? Well, I can try, but it's already on. <laughs> I'm going to shut the camera off. I'm going to go and get some butter so I can butter my scone. I can't have any tea because I haven't got any... Actually, I have got tea, but I haven't got milk. Or sweetener. <laughs> or have I? Have I? No, I think I threw it in temper. <laughs> I was actually pissed off one day uh, with all this um, possibility of being lactose intolerant, so I just picked up the bag of sh um, cereal I had left, threw it in the bin, did the same with the um, sweetener. Not thinking, may need that for a cup of tea one day, even though I don't drink tea. But there's always that chance. Anywho, Nemo's going to hate me because I'm now going to kick him off the desk so I can eat my scone. And uh, <laughs> I am saying it like that deliberately, in case you're wondering. And uh, get this Lego built and uh, piss off to bed, I think. But it's now 20 past 10. So, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, this, in case you're wondering why I squint with that eye, it's always done it in bright light. You know, when I'm outside in the sun during summer, I'm like this. Got one eye. Arr. I don't know why. It just does it automatically as soon as lo bright light hits it. It's like, bright light, don't like it. Friggin' annoying sometimes. But, uh, well, not that annoying because I've, you know, I've done it all my life so I'm used to it. Well, that's what I've been looking for some solar lights, better ones to go in my plants in the kitchen. Not them fucking shitty ones that don't work. Anyway, 
thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Probably after I've done the work on the bike, or I may start beforehand. I don't bloody know. But anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow.